this is David with BrainDesign.com and this is the short version of how to mirror skin morphs. My last video was a little too long for what should be a very simple procedure so I'll just go through this real quick. It's currently in my muscle memory now. So let's go ahead and you take the just the, the mesh itself of the body and we want to control V, make a copy of that and then Alt X just so we can get a better visual on it and we're going to collapse the stack and then we're gonna mirror it and then we apply the skin wrap add our original Now that it's skin wrapped, we want to make sure we set it to face deformation and bring the fall up up, blend the mesh, bring that up. I usually take it about 10. It, it, uh, these are just variables. It all depends on the situation and what you're skinning to. I made some alterations to the detail in this palm. So I'm going to have to mirror that over. So now we just bring this up 90 degrees. And then we delete the skin wrap that we just made, or we don't delete it, we collapse. Alright, and then we mirror it again. Now you got to make sure you bring your wrist back down on your original mesh so that the skin morph data doesn't get confused and include that. And then what we do is we go over here. We bring this up to match. For some reason, it's uh, affecting. Let me check some. You notice how it was flickering like that when I was moving the wrist. Hey, you see all the all those pixels that it's influencing on that side and we can fix that it's not supposed to do that so we'll just move this up 90 and then go to skin morph and we want to find the left palm right here go to the morph of it being up we edit, we want to take the external mesh, click on none, and then click on the new one we just made, and it will pop to match it. Click off of edit, and then delete our reference. Oh, we gotta take the skin morph off first. And there it is. So now we have the proper mirror. And you can see as I move this, it's moving all these other verts which is not what we want. So we have to go back into the skin morph, go back to the left palm, and we've got to select everything that we don't want that morph to affect. I always do that. <sighs> go back to the left palm. Got to make sure you click on edit. So there they are clear verts. Now they all snap back. You can see that undo when you click clear verts. Then there you go. Now when we move it. So what this is, what's actually happening, I had to fix this earlier but I had to go back to a save file, is it's actually one of the finger morphs that still has all of these verts uh, you know, moving with it that it's influencing. And since the wrist is moving, obviously the fingers are moving. So indirectly, that's what it's doing. So just to prove that, I'll finish that up real quick. But this pretty much concludes the tutorial. But before I stop recording, I'm just going to go through these. So it's not that finger. It's not that finger. And it's not that finger. 
So it must be the pinky. No. Oh, is it the thumb? It's the thumb. Alright, so we gotta go. See, this is the digit 11 on the left. So we click on emo. We go to skin morph. And my cat is walking in front of my computer screen. Go away. Thank you. Skin morph left digit 11 down here. Click on the morph. Edit. And there is an easier way to do this. You can actually experiment with it yourself. I just haven't done it yet, but you can click this here to reload only the selected verts. So I'm sure this is really handy and you don't have to do this, but I just haven't explored that yet. So just clear the verts. And then I'd go through all the the rest of the morphs for the thumb. And just hit that as well. There. So now when I move the wrist, it should be fine. And it is. And that's how you mirror skin morphs. Thanks for watching.